Tristan, you actually couldn't have, again, you couldn't have said it better. And I think we need to take a moment to appreciate the fantastic camera work from Sensor today. And I'm sure Sebastian is doing an absolutely sterling job too. But can you believe it? The sun is starting to set later and later. And we have to, well, wait for that beautiful golden hour. But it's definitely it now. We have got a lovely view of a, well, a backlit Nsuku who really hasn't moved much except for the fact that he's now curled up in a ball. And I think that's because he's feeling a little bit chilly. It is cold. I actually said to Senzo at one point, I'm going to have to go back to camp to get another jacket. And then, well, that, uh, well, that exciting um, it, incident, incident describes that it was a bad Uh, like I really thought that I was going to come back because I seem to have not the greatest luck with the animals at times, but that's okay, I don't mind, it's just one of those things. But wow, what a welcome back. This is probably the best welcome back I've ever received from the animals. Uh, so thank you, Northern Sabi Sand Animals. That was great. And I hope that those sticks lions managed to catch something uh, decent in size to fill their bellies. And I hope that the rest of the pride returns with all the little ones. I don't know where the little cubs have gone to. Quite uh, unusual. I might actually have to have a chat to maybe Shanae at some point. Um, and maybe I'll have to give her a call and find out when last all the sticks uh, cubs were seen together. Just to try and figure out. But let's not assume the worst. Sometimes this happens and uh, the cubs do get separated from the adults but they normally find their way back we actually had that incident last year most of you who've been watching for quite some time will remember that and it was an amazing sighting i think brent actually had it with the return of uh, the lost sticks cubs it was really really quite special Now, M. Riedel, you're wondering if their father, would they interact? Um, I suppose it depends on the situation, if it was maybe, and also it depends on, on how old the, the lions were. That, of course, plays a, a huge part in it, because if they're over, if they're about three years old, two and a half years, three years old, they're not going to be tolerated uh, by the males so much, regardless of whether they're their offspring or not, because they become potential threats. They threaten their position and their coalition, and they could be taken out. If it was young cubs, I actually don't know. I've never seen anything like that. It's an interesting question. Question. So say, for instance, if uh, the Birminghams came across those young lost cubs, I, I don't know what would happen. I've never seen a situation. I'm not sure. Or would they just act uh, like male lions do and typically take out the uh, take out uh, young cubs? Because, you know, like I've just said, they want to invest all their time and swell sweat and tears and well urine as well into their offspring and not someone else's so it's, a, it's actually a very difficult one to answer and i'll probably be able to answer that a lot better if i have a sighting and actually what uh, what would happen you know uh, often what will happen is you i have seen it before where the cubs have been left and male lions have come in to try and retrace the steps of the pride and they've stumbled across uh, all, all the litter of the young sink we'll try and get a better view i think i might go a little bit closer we're quite far away and hopefully our friend over here will wake up as so we've had so much excitement and hopefully it continues throughout the night but let's go across to tristan and let's ask him the question uh, well that i was just chatting about